Howdy folks, today we are playing Invoke Reanimator in Phyrexia All Will Be One Standard. Basically the plan of the deck is to get an Atrax into the graveyard, get a portal to Phyrexia in the graveyard, or get a Sanctuary Warden into the graveyard, and we're going to reanimate it with an Invoke Justice. Pretty simple. We have some ways to discard it to get into the graveyard, and we have lands potentially able to cast every spell in our deck. Atrax is going to be hard, but it's possible, it's possible. That's the plan, let's see if the plan works on the ladder. Alright, opponent's going first, we got some, we got stuff to do. Not until turn three, but it's stuff. Oh, mono red. Alrighty. First big test. This is the thing. When you sign up to play a deck like this, the mono red comes and really wants to make sure you have a tough time. Okay, well, uh, we draw on tap land for this abraid. Asking you shall receive. That's a chance. We have a chance now. Alright, they're going to be able to get something off this Felden, but maybe it's something they can't cast. Nope, they'll get a Monastery Swiss Spear off of it. Okay. We're trying to get to this Depopulate now. Oh, they got they chose a Mountain. Okay. I take that. I'll take that. Mechanized Warfare. That's a heap of damage there for sure. Ooh, Fable. Next turn we have the Sanctum for the Depopulate. Okay. Draws? Draws coming together. Draws coming together. Turn two, a braid. Turn three, fable. Turn four, to populate. About as best as we can do on the draw against this deck. In a perfect world, we draw, like, Atraxa next turn, discard it to the fable, reanimate Atraxa <laughs> with an evoke justice that we draw off of it. That's, that's like pie in the sky world, but yeah, it's possible. Lightning strike. Okay, is that going to my face? Where is it going? Opponents decide if they want to play something from their hand. Epicure from the hand it is. Two damage to me. Yep. And play with fire too. Okay, they got it. They got it. Nether Fable. So I don't think we have time for this bit of reunion. And I think we can do better than Jedmir's Garden at this point in the game. Okay, Sanctum. And let's see, if we pass here, keep the Wandering Emperor up. We're going to take two from the Epicure, Lightning Strike. Yeah. We've got to depopulate and hope they're kind of on blanks. Because they untap here and play like Swift Spear, Swift. Sp oh, okay. Or Squeed Lightning Strike, even as. Uh, that's lethal, actually. Dang. You know what? Power to our opponent. That's kind of part of the, the you know, thing with this deck. You have to you have to get ready. Uh, you have to get ready for mono red. You have to be, you have to get ready, you gotta stay ready. This is a deck that, that, uh, that'll keep you honest. I had fun, it was a close match. Uh, I think we're on the play, I think we have a better chance, but on draw against mono red, not this deck style. But we'll see if we can get better matchups in the future. Hmm, opponent's going first. <laughs> this is a greedy keep, but you already know I'm about that work. They leave on Rafine's Tower. Okay. We've got this Abrade. And no lands. We'd really like to draw a land. What, what you got? What you got? Oh, ask you shall receive. Fable time. The counter time from your opponent from our opponent hitting us with the make disappear. Syncopate, all the same. Alright, need to keep drawing lands though. Yeah, land for a big score would be big. Yeah. Second fable though. You got another one? Got another syncopate? Got another counter spell in there? Your blue deck? Oh, you don't. Okay. Probably has a way to remove our 2-2, though. We are mostly looking to just get these big boom booms in the graveyard and then reanimating them with an evoke justice. We'll do it as soon as next turn if our opponent doesn't kill our uh, shaman. Though it doesn't look like it's too long for this world. Taps out for it, though. Goodbye. Opponent knows what's up. That's the thing. Now, now we've revealed, uh, we've revealed the game plan, so <laughs> they know what's up. And it turned big scores nice, at least, because kind of puts the pressure on them. Hey, if you want to try to compete, you got to counter this. But hmm, doesn't look like they're going to counter it. What do we want to get rid of this? A braid at this point doesn't look too good. Go to my turn. And what do you think I just invoke a little justice here? 
Do you think they have Farewell, or do you think they have just a regular removal spell? It's a regular removal spell. Sanctuary Warden's better, but I mean, you just gotta get... You just gotta get, um... It tracks it down, get all that card advantage. I think I'll go like... Actually, I think I'll go like this. Alright, choose up to five. Creature, Sanctuary Warden, Enchantment Fable, Lands, a Garden, I guess, Sorcery, Invoke, and Instant Pyre. Smith, five. All right, so we're gonna discard three cards. Don't think we need the Pyre, the Abrade, or the Reunion. Get rid of those three. Well, we're pocketing it to populate just in case. It's possible we don't need it to populate, but we're gonna pocket it. All right, Farewell, they did have the Farewell. Okay, um, yeah, I'm going Fable here. They're gonna need a lot of Farewells. We're just going to go Fable and pass. Uh, next turn, we could cast a, an Atraxa from our hand if they let us attack with a Shaman. If not, we'll just go off, go to work with a Sanctuary Warden. Yeah, Braid's bad. And we can start casting these, so I don't really think we want to discard them that much. I mean, we could get one back this turn, but not that worried about it. Yeah, just submit the Braid. All right, let's get busy with the shaman. One's got a lot of life over there. All right, let's attempt to resolve a sanctuary warden. We don't want them to just be able to like memory deluge, so we kind of want to keep them honest with the spell. Kind of imagine it's getting countered, but we don't want them to just play a big card advantage spell there. A rebel racer. We don't have anything in our yard to get. Yeah, we'll tag with the 2 2. Get our treasure, dig it some blocks. But we'll get this Wandering Emperor down, I think it's going to be the plan. I think, yeah, we're going to get discarded and invoke justice right now, draw some cards. That way they get shrouded to whatever we have in our hands. And yeah, we still get the Wandering Emperor down. They're gonna make a Mirix token here. They did not even do that. They didn't want to tap out. Memory Deluge, sure, go for it. Thing is, they're gonna need a lot of farewells to eventually compete with what we have going on. They're gonna draw a lot of cards, but is it gonna be enough? We have just one treasure here I think we're fine with, for sure, for this Wandering Emperor. Is it worth a counterspell for you, opponent? You can see you can pay it for three or two. I'll pay for two. No problem there. Alright, starting making a little mini army here. Gotta get make some inroads on our opponent's life total. Getting in on some damage. Make another 2 2. And. I think we'll cast Bitter Reunion. Get rid of the other Bitter Reunion. Kind of filter our hand a little bit. Anything in their yard? Nothing in their yard. We'll pass. Just plan to cast this big score at the end of the turn. Could be another farewell turn for our opponent, but if that's the case, they, oh, they do a void rent. Okay, that's pretty good. Void rent's not bad for them. Still have much to learn. Yeah, I think now we can start getting rid of this to populate. I'm not really sure what our opponent's win con is. Probably Teferi. Portal solid. 
Don't really want to commit the portal until after they... Commit to a... Uh... Farewell. Man, we have like no cards left. Hmm. Tracks of time. Yeah, another counter spell here. If it's a syncopate, we can pay. But it does mean we don't have enough for the uh, the haste. I don't know if they're gonna run anything other than syncopate. They've only really shown us syncopate. March. Sure. Gaining some life. All right. Time to look at some. Definitely grab another Atraxa. Although, actually, I think I'll grab a Sanctuary Warden. Fable. Fire Garden. Play a Garden. Oh, we already played a land. Give our tracks a haste. Get in there. And the Terran, give it to a Garden and a Pyre. We want our opponent to have to commit some more farewells. So that way... Man, they're really they're tapping out for this. Because farewell really... Uh, limits... What we can do. And we don't want them to just keep casting them willy-nilly. Alright, we're getting in. Starting there. Planes. Hmm, what are we going to... Play. Can we play this Fable? Presents another type of lethal. Sanctuary Warden. Swept up by Farewell. I think we want another big creature in the event that they do sweep the board. So, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and Fable here. Kind of going to expect a Farewell. I mean, that's what they've been searching for this whole time. Yep. Hits the graveyard too. Yep. Means we can get down the sanctuary warden. Are we gonna have more threats than sanctuary or than farewells? That's the big question. If they have if they have regular wraths, we're gonna feel a lot better. We have this portal going. Again, we're in a spot where they can't counter it with the um You'll call it a, a syncopate. Yeah, they can't counter with the syncopate. So, yep, I'm just going to go ahead and pass. Now, uh, like a march, they've, they've been using some of these marches. It deals damage, so it doesn't. it's not going to kill Sanctuary Warden. Okay, they have two Void Rens, perhaps. Okay, to populate, that's fine. We're going to get Invoke Justice back on our Sanctuary Warden. Let's have a way to get out of the graveyard. Okay. Okay, Sanctum down and play Invoke Justice on the Sanctuary Warden. Nice part about this is getting extra counters on it means it's a lot less. Uh, it's a lot, you know, you can remove a plus one, plus one counter. You don't have to remove a shield counter. Which, I think we are going to remove a plus one, plus one counter. Because our opponent has shown that they can't really... They don't have enough farewell, it didn't look like, there. See if they have some more to populate, some more void rends. See what's in their hands. Getting low on cards. Even the score, sure. So if they just like cast a to populate here or something, mind splice apparatus, sure. Okay, so I think the way for us to win here is to cycle this jet mirror's garden and then untap. We have the wandering emperor now, but what we were gonna do is invoke on the jet mirror's garden, split up some counters, 
get in there for lethal. We had the Wandering Emperor for that line too, but we just basically needed to find any extra damage. Uh, but we didn't have any permanents and didn't have any permanents, so we needed the uh, the Invoke Justice there. But Wandering Emperors would have gotten us there too. But alrighty, taking some victory against Esper Control. GG's. All right, opponent's going first. This is a slow hand. I don't think we can keep it. This is not a good hand, but I guess this is what we're doing. Let's see what they're on. Death Cap Glade. Okay. Is this like the fight, fight rigging deck or something? I think I'd rather have Fable next turn, so. Yeah, Ruffian's Tower it is. Only we had a leyline binding here. <laughs> no, no, no leyline binding. Okay, yeah, fable time. Have something to kill our two two. They do. We have something to get to the warden into the graveyard, but we don't have any way to reanimate it. So maybe we don't. Just dump it to the yard. Doesn't look like a braid's doing much, so definitely can bin that. The Ganja down. Pass and big score. There's a Trox into the yard. After they trespass or do whatever they're doing. Opponent is just not playing spells. I don't know what is going on over there. Tracks in the yard. Tracks a portal in hand. Fable flips. Pass the turn. I mean, we can't cast anything. Next turn, we can cast an Atroxa, naturally, or a Portal, naturally. Opponent must just be on mono removal. I'm not sure what's going on over there. They were hoping to play a mod against mono red with this hand. Uh, they got us instead, so hopefully they don't have a way to just completely run us out. Shakedown heavy. Sure, go for it. Do your thing. You got fight rigging too? Come on, I know you gotta have it. No. Well, we can cast this portal next turn, so I kind of don't even want to discard it. I feel like it'd be pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's portal time. Do you have a way to kill our portal? If you do, we still killed your shakedown heavy and forced you to use a spell on the portal. I am now Tyrannix Rex. Yes. Give me that toxic. Look at this sanctuary warden. Ward four, huh? Okay, get that out of here. Yeah. Um, I thought maybe they had a handful of Tyrannix Rex, but problem for them is we're getting back next turn, one back next turn with the portal, and uh, once we have one too, it doesn't look like it's gonna be too fair. GG's. Alrighty, they're going first. We're gonna keep. We got this Jet Mirror's Garden on turn one. Turn two, we got this Cathartic Pyre to hold up. Bank Buster. Okay. A little busting. Could have abraded there, but I, uh, I'm not really too worried if our opponent just decides they want to draw cards. Opponent's a little worried now. They're like, oh, I got some reanimating over there. Don't need two Invoke Justices. All right. Go ahead and get rid of the Bank Buster now. We're not doing anything else. Stop the card draw a little bit. No big boom booms on the way for us yet, though. A little disappointing. Got a long way to make this hand good. 
pass the turn. See if they do attack with a shelter or not. If not, then if they play something else, we'll just depopulate it next turn. No problem there. I've learned much during my travels. Let me show you. Gonna grab our depopulate, you would imagine. Could, could grab our invoke despair. Invoke justice, I mean. Pilfer's good good for them to have. I would take the depopulate though. <laughs> They're checking our graveyard to see that we have nothing in there. They take it anyway. Where's the sheltered going? Nowhere probably? Makes sense. Hmm. They're gonna kill our wandering emperor? I'm gonna cut down. Well, we baited our opponent perfectly, because now we have this to populate that they probably weren't expecting us to have. Let's get the garden down. Just in case we draw like a sanctuary ward next to him, we can play it. We have a nether sheltered though. It's pretty good too. Fable. Fable's not bad. I think because we drew the Fable, we're fine to discard this Aganjo, kind of reset our hand a little bit. The Garden down, now we have a Sanctuary Warden for next turn. As long as our opponent isn't playing lots of corrupts, I think we'll have a good chance in this game. But if they just double corrupt us, so it's going to get ugly. Anything else? Oh. Talk about it, and they will play it. Yeah, I think we have to start getting damage on our opponent a little bit. They have second corrupt. It's just GG's. I mean, it's how that deck goes. It just happens to have a lot of reach. Dang. They got us. GG's. All right, I'm going first. See the plan. Let's go. Sundown pass. Okay. Got a bit of reunion coming along as well. Sleeper. Okay. Well, opponent's gonna know what's up. We're gonna have to make sure, we're gonna have to hope they don't have a, a way to get rid of our portal. Like a Guerrero Trespasser. Opponent's getting in. Yep, yep. Just gonna go ahead and pass. They do just level up the sleeper. They didn't even do that. Okay. Okay. I, mean, I don't know what's going on over here with our opponents' play so far, but that, well, that's what they're up to. Alrighty. Big score. Do you have a graveyard trespasser or something to deny us? Our portal to Prexia next turn. We have one in the graveyard. Yeah, put another one in there. Sure. Sheltered's fine on your end, but problem is for you that I have a portal to Frexy on my end. So hopefully you don't mind sacking some creatures and uh, letting us get some back. Alrighty. Hope you don't mind, opponent. Hope you don't mind. What do you got? Anything for this portal? I'm thinking probably not. Am I, am I gonna see a concession? Might see a concession. Let's see, let's see. Invoke despair. Oh, that's fine. No worries about the invoke despair. Alright, give me the sheltered. 
Yep, yeah, gonna gain some life. Getting the Sanctuary Warden down, and this is basically all she wrote. Our opponent is, has to know it's over in and out, right? We're gonna pass. Come on, opponent. You already know it's over. Draw a card, lose two life. Shelly. Okay, Shelly Wars. We got an Evolve Sleeper back, though. Not too shabby ourselves. No, <laughs> okay, the mirror match. 2-2, two, two, all day. Give me your sleeper. We can go ahead and draw. Those are gonna cancel each other out, but we can do damage to the sleeper. We're gonna just big attacks. Remove the counter. Keep drawing. I think this is clinical at this point. Opponent's gonna just take a bunch of damage. We're gonna play an Atraxa. All right, four types. I'll take another Atraxa, Fable, Big Score, Planes, and yeah, GG's. Too easy, too easy. Big W's. And we're back with the wrap up for Invoke Reanimator, and the deck performed a little bit worse than I thought actually. Um, I, I there's I, I expected there'd be a, a, a bigger range of middle, you know, mid range decks. Um, that's really what, you know, we're trying to go over the top with of this. We're trying to avoid aggro, you know, soldiers and mono red. And you're also trying to avoid, um, like, mono blue tempo kind of style things. And if you have super counterspell heavy control, it can kind of be a problem. But usually, you know, you have enough big spells that you can kind of finagle your way to a victory round control. But um, really, the we, we, we were expecting less, you know, tempo... Uh, oriented decks um you know like mono blue and demir and i played a you know a good amount of that um but i got you know railroaded in those games so i don't know if you'll see uh, a lot of those games because there's frankly they're not good viewing experiences so <laughs> I'll, I'll cut them out but i'll let you know that that's what happened um so i honestly i, I don't think i could probably recommend the invoke justice uh version of this deck I would probably recommend, if you can play an Atraxa Reanimator or just like a Atraxa deck in general, I'd probably recommend the five color deck that I played um, before. But I mean, there are meta games where this is a very good deck. You know, if you're if you're seeing a lot of mono black or you're seeing a lot of like mono white mid range or things like that, you could bring this to the table and clean house. Um, and that's that, you know. And meta games are cyclical, and there'll definitely be a time where, uh, in this standard, even probably where those decks comes rearing their heads again, and you can go and get that work. But for now, I'd probably recommend to stay off this deck. It's fun though. I mean, if you want to, if you want to jam, you know, lose a little bit of rank, but have fun while you cast some bigger traxes and bemoaning your opponent countering uh, your big spells with make disappear after they play their hotties in all the time. You could, you could, you could do this. I mean, that's a viable plan. If you, that's if you don't mind too much. I'm kidding there, but, um, but yeah, uh, that, that's basically the, the skinny of the deck. Um, I would love to play uh, your decks though. You know, the viewer uh, listening to this video right now. So go ahead, open up the description of this YouTube video down there near the bottom. You'll find a link to Google's forms that you can fill out and submit your deck. And I will go and play your deck on youtube this video right here could be your deck nobody submitted their deck today though so i didn't get any so i'm hoping to get some more hoping to get some more if you like this video you'll probably like the last video on the channel another standard video go check that out and until next time wherever you are whenever you are have a magical day